salvation, O oh my Father, Lord. Thank you for your protection, O King of Glory. We are not taking anything for granted. We just want to appreciate you by telling you, thank you, O oh God. Be thou glorified and be exalted, Lord. And as we share the manna from heaven, I pray that, Jehovah Master, you shall give us the minds uh, even to hear the heart to receive, uh, O oh, Jehovah Master, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wonderfully blessed and I worship you, Lord. For this we pray and believe in a trust in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, uh, let's open our Bibles in the book of Matthew 25. To see what the Lord has for us. Matthew 25, then I will share from verse number 1 to 13. About the wise and the foolish virgins. The wise and the foolish virgins be ready to discover exactly what the Lord wants us to know. Then the kingdom of heaven shall be compared to ten maidens who took their lambs and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, and the five were wise. For when the foolish took their lambs, they took no oil with them. But the wise took a flask of oil with their lambs. And the bridegroom was delayed. They all slumbered and slept. Mark number five. But at midnight there was a cry. Behold, the bridegroom come to meet him. Then all those maidens rose and trimmed their lambs. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lambs are going out. Then the wise replied, Perhaps there will not be enough for us and for you. Go rather to the dealers and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast. And the door was shut. After one, the other maidens came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he replied, Truly I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. Father, in Jesus' name, bless this word as we partake of it in Jesus' name. We are talking about five. Just look at your left and the right hand and you shall see five, five. I answer a prayer, The bridegroom is our Lord Jesus Christ. He is represented in his Psalms. I wonder, as I talk about Psalms 45, Psalms 45, Psalms 45, we shall discover this. My heart overflows with a godly theme. I dress my verses to the king. My tongue is like the pen of a ready scribe. You are the fairest of the sons of men. Grace is poured upon your lips, therefore, God has blessed you forever. He is now the bridegroom representing the beauty of the church. The bride is the church. Those are now the believers. Let us go straight to Osea. I said we are going to read some various. I just want to connect you to the right word. That in your own life, Osea 2 and then verse 19. I know when Guinea, uh, Pastor Joachim Sunday said they have a problem of opening. Osea chapter 2 verse number 19. And I will betray you to be forever. I will betroth you to me in righteousness and in justice, in steadfast first love and in mercy. I said then something there you are learning. I don't know whether that is the right word. But also Now this engagement is about righteousness. It's about justice. 
It's about steadfast love. And it's about mercy. They are all combined. You can see the real picture of the Lord Jesus Christ. Kanisa anataka ikiwa namnagan. That is now the real picture of what now the Lord Jesus Christ is preparing the church to be like. Take your real self, yourself, stand just aside, evaluate on your own life, and see whether this uh, description might have been mentioned here in Osea, whether for sure uh, you have some of those similarities in your life. And if you don't have, pray for God to help you. Bana yesu hapo ya sifa. Anataka kuambia kanisa si kama serikali ya Mungu sio kama serikali ya Kenya full of corruption. Binguni there is nothing like corruption. Either you walk the talk or you stay. There is no back door. The, the, the road is so narrow meaning uh, the way to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. When you look at John 14 and 6, it says, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. And no many can follow that route. Because they will look on the left, they will look on the right. There are some enticing things on the way. Utasikia munuko wa sambusa, wangalie. Utasikia munuko wa mandasi, unapopita. Wana yesu wapoe sifa, niya machom. That in base you shall look. Na pahale kuna nyama chom, ay kwangi peke yake. Kuna kamufinyo pale, kuna kukula na kuteremusha. So those things which are just on that route, it means you have to focus on where you are going. Whether you smell something, you don't have to look at it, because our Lord has got everything. Na yesu wapoe sifa. Our Lord Jesus Christ has got everything. If you have Jesus Christ, you have the source. When the devil has uh, those things which are enticing on the way, even to make you more confused on the way. But let's continue, we shall discover this. The marriage is reserved for the great day. When the bride, the lamb's wife, will have made herself completely ready. Just go together with me in a revelation. Revelation is in the last book of the Bible. Then verse, uh, chapter 19, verse 7 there. Let us rejoice and exalt and give him the glory. For the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. It was granted her to be clothed with the fine linen, bright and pure, for the fine linen is the righteous deeds of the saints. Muna kitu hapo nashika, verse number 8. For the fine linen, mavasi, yale onatakiwa kuva, is the righteous deeds of the saints. Matendo yale osawa. Yahaki kwa moteule. Those are not the linen and clothing. Now I'm bringing the true picture of the church of Jesus Christ and what he is expecting from us. Bana yesu apoya sifa. Then number nine, and the angel said to me, write this, blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, these are true words of God. These are true words of God, not words of men. Words of men, they shall put so many things to look as if they are there, while they are not there. That the true word of God has no shortcut. Hallelujah. You follow it and you get life. The virgins are the professors of religion, members of the church. These are now the virgin. When you enter to the kingdom of the living God, when you confess Jesus Christ to be Lord and Savior of your life, 
you become automatically a candidate. Bana Yesu hapo sifa. I'm taking you now in the book of Esther. When now the king was looking for a queen. There was a real preparation there. They were taken all the virgins were taken to different rooms and they are they were given maids and they were given those kind of uh, uh, oils and whatever they could use for a certain period to look beautiful. Yaani wajibondoe wajitengeneze ili wakiapia mbele ya mfalume kwa sababu alikuwa anatafuta mbibi anaoundika akifika pale aonekane ako I'm talking just a preparation of the marriage now because like now weddings weddings they take a lot of time Bwana angalia pale hizi zinawekwa zingine na zinawekwa na ngamu sio inaitwa nini Sopa ngulu inaonekana kama asilali. Ananyolewa hii inawekwa ingine. Mdomo unachorwa. Eh? Yaani anawekwa sura ingine. Hata wanaume wanachanganyikiwa. Asubuhi akiamka anakuta si yule alikuwa mwanchana. Na yako na mwingine alioa asubuhi akamwambia we are divorcing. Because in the morning When he looked at that lady in a real picture aliona ameoa kitu kizee sana Hizi makala lina <laughs> ina confuse watu unapaintiwa nakaa kama ukuta mpya But when in the morning you wake up and for sure you have washed the painting is no longer there and you look yourself Ai mtu anaoleta nilikuwa wapi talking about now something that can never be washed away something permanent in your life the beauty of the lord that it can never faint even when you go to wash take a bath and do what the reality remains you are authentic you look original you look beautiful from the inside and outside you are talking so enticing for sure Bwana Yesu hapo asifa that is exactly what the Lord God is talking about righteousness and then mercy love combined together that the Lord Jesus Christ when he looks at that bride he will see the real picture of himself that is what the church is now about and that is now the church God is expecting to see they that for the lamb are said to be virgins What do you understand by virgin? Na yeso hapo asifa. A virgin is somebody who preserved was never played any game. Na yeso hapo asifa, from the time you were born, if you are a lady, you have never slept with any man. If you are a man, you have never slept with any lady. We are talking about virgins. We are talking about virgins in the church. The moment you confess Jesus Christ to be Lord and Savior, you have not even meandered here and there. You have retained your righteousness. You have retained the original salvation. You have not gone there because you wanted one, two, three. You have said it is my Jesus and Jesus alone. I'm talking about virgins. Those who have denied themselves Every things to look and focus on the Lord Jesus Christ. Those are the true virgins the Lord is talking about. Look at we are in Revelation and just look at 14:4. Revelation 14:4. It is these who have not devoured themselves. Are we together there? With the women. For they are chaste. It is those, these who follow the Lamb wherever He goes. These have been redeemed from mankind as the first fruits for God and the Lamb. Do you see yourself there? 
These are the ones when they confessed Jesus Christ to be Lord and a Savior. Sile dhambi zilikuwa zinakufuatilia, unasiambia kwa heri. All the desires of the flesh because already your body belongs to somebody else now. You have been bought and you have been called for sure purchased, fully purchased. You belong to somebody who will never share you with another. We serve a jealous God. You look at the other people here. Agesikia to bibi yake amesalimiwa. Kusalimiwa peke yake. Ako tayari kutoa matumbo ya mwenye kusalimiana. Na itaenda. Matumbo ita yani, you can see the anchor in the physical human being. Na wacha nisiendele. Na ako tayari. Bwana Yesu hapo asifa. They are ready. Kungosote mkwenu. Mkwenu has been so famous. Ukisoma kwa hopo watakuta. Nelikuwa naishita nika konsort. And then nika tembeka. We are not going to go to there. We are going to look unto the Lord Jesus Christ. The out and the finish of our faith. We are nothing for sure. We can compromise on this earth. If I want to make it to heaven, you have to stand the ground. For the truthness of the word of God. They should preserve their beauty and their purity as vengeance of Christ. You preserve that purity. And that beauty. Just look, uh, uh, let's go to 2 Corinthians 11. 2 Corinthians 11. And the verse number 2 there. I feel a divine jealousy for you. For I have betrothed you to Christ to present you as a pure bride to her one husband. And you know, this one connects her to God's marriage. When the Lord, Jesus, when God himself in the garden of Eden and Adam was meant to sleep how many ribs were removed? Moja tu. Lakini wanaume wametoa zao mingi. Walitolewa moja na kila siku wanangoanga ingine. Jua weke mwingine. Unangoa weke mwingine. But in actual fact, it is only one rib which was removed from every man from the time of birth. Because God, when he looks at you as a man, he sees himself in you. And he needs righteousness and faithfulness. So that's why you can only be faithful to only one wife. In a wife, you can only be faithful to one husband. When you should change God's method, then death enters And that's where we are seeing it here. When you look at verse number two, I feel undivine jealousy. This is Paul writing to, Jerusalem, uh, to the Corinthians, for you, for I betray you to Christ to present you as a pure bride to her one husband, to her one husband. Meaning here, our walk with the Lord Jesus Christ should be very careful. Our character, our behavior. Know for sure, living on this earth, we are living for a very short time, and our long time shall be in heaven. So as we are preparing ourselves, waiting for our bridegroom to come, we live a righteous life. The bridegroom is a king, so these virgins are maids of honor. Vengeance without a number. When you look at Song of Solomon, that one is in the Old Testament Song of Solomon. Song of Solomon 6, and then 8. My dove, my perfect one, 
is only one. The darling of her mother, flawless to her that bore her. The maidens saw her and they called her happy. The queens, because they are many, that is the church, and the concubines also, and they praised her. The queens, when we are talking about the concubines, I can see the Gentiles entering there because we are not among the Jews. And we came after the Jews and rejected Jesus Christ. And now that is how Apostle Paul came and I was given the gospel to take it to the Gentiles. And that's why we are seeing the queens, the original Jews, and we are seeing the concubines. We are seeing now the Gentiles entering there, preparing themselves for the king to come, for our bridegroom to come. This is now the church. Then when you look at it, you shall see when you are seated on yourself there, ask yourself what am I supposed to do that I may live a life pleasing unto God. The duty of this evangelism is to meet the bridegroom and their happiness is to please the bridegroom. Are you seeing it? The duty of every virgin is to do what? is to meet every believer should think of meeting our Lord Jesus Christ on the air because the sinners will not meet him even them those who died before the righteous ones our apostles and the disciples them those who are ahead of us and they died and they rested they shall all meet the Lord Jesus Christ in the air and we shall all rejoice together. So here is a virgin have a mindset. How will I meet my bridegroom? How? You know there is a competition here. When a man has got three or four daddies, all of them they outsmart one another. Today, I just want to be more conscious than the other. Then the other one might outsmart the other one through finances. I will entice this one. I will do this one. You know, that was the game which was played to Solomon. Paka Solomon yakachia mungu. Akasema for sure ni mefika mwisho. I thought I would be happy having so many women. And having so many conjugates, I said, my, oh, it's vanity. I tried, it's all vanity. I had many women. Hakuwa narudia moja, akienda naya anatupa, anachukua mwengine, lakini siku tupa hivyo, anakuwa bibi wa? Wa Solomon, lakini anasaulika, anasongea, mwengine, mpaka conjugates, I could not count them. One thousand other, higini walekua seven hundred. Paka mwishowe, a man who feared God so much. And a sema is all vanity. And the conclusion of the whole matter, fear God. Because what he was searching for, he could not get it. He only found a settlement of his heart and a peace in the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is now the amusement to every sinner. That there is no joy outside the kingdom of God. And you will never get it. We Christians, we profess ourselves to be brides. Should we still be ready? All oh, honor him. An attacker, we honor him and we praise him. Every time I'm talking about, I say, my husband is so good. He is so loving. He is faithful. Why? Because when I go before him and I pray, he answers my prayers. In that's one, two, three. That is the person I am proud of. I'm proud of my Lord Jesus Christ being called my Savior. Why? Because whenever I go before him, I may suffer, but my suffering in Jesus Christ, he takes care of the suffering. 
That when I'm suffering and I'm outside there, the devil mocks me. Because I have no protection. But inside the kingdom of the Lord, I know I'm not alone. I have somebody. The expectance of Christ should not believe in him only. But it should love and long for the appearing of the Lord Jesus Christ. We should long seeing him, embracing him, touching and feeling him. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes when we are talking about Thomas, we say, don't have the faith of Thomas. But when I look at Thomas, I see sincerity in Thomas. Because he wanted to have a feel. Hallelujah. Why? Because Jesus Christ was so present with them. But for us, we believe without seeing. And yes, I pray, Sifa. And it was true. When now Thomas said, I will only believe when I touch and I see him, Jesus Christ appeared to him. And he told him, Thomas, just touch. These are the ribs where the nails entered. Touch my hands. Feel me. Do you believe now? And then uh, automatically, Thomas said, my God and my Lord. My God and my Lord. Affirming I have known truly, you are God who is faithful. For us, we can test the faithfulness of the Lord. Nikiomba ananejibu. Namuona. Bwana Yesu apoyesifa. Kwa hivyo naweza kusema kama mtu anaitwa Thomas, my God and my Lord. And also the same words we are used during the time of resurrection. When now uh, we are talking about when Mary Magdalene was there. And Mary Magdalene, all the other disciples ran away. And Mary Magdalene was left there. And she said, I'm not coming out of this. And she said, I will not leave. Why? Because I want to see my Lord. Where have you taken him? And she was ready as a woman. I want to take the Lord alone and carry him alone. I am ready. You can see the kind of love Mary had. I want to take my Lord Jesus Christ along with me. And then Jesus Christ saw that. And as I continue talking, Jesus looked at Mary because Mary could not identify him. He said, Mary. She had a voice. And now she said, Rabon, meaning teacher. And when you now look at John 10, our Sunday school here, they said, my sheep, they know my voice and I am known to them now Mary at the graveside she heard the voice of the Lord Jesus Christ and she said Rabon I'm talking about the church of today how can you be able to identify the voice of the Lord how you should be acquitted to the voice of the living God. If you hear the voice, we need our spiritual ears to be opened. Our spiritual ears to, and we need to know the voice of the Lord when he is speaking to us. And you can never know the voice of the Lord unless you know the word of God. Because God himself will speak through his word. He will refer you to a book in the Bible. He will refer you to a voice. And when he refers you to the, to the voice and to the book and to the verse, be ready when you hear quickly. You open, underline it, and possess it. Say it is meant for me. Hallelujah. Don't waste any chance. It is my message. To every intercessor, am I speaking? Whenever you are there, you are praying and you are interceding. Don't just wake up from that place immediately. 
Pause a little bit. Because once you have been praying, you are just pumping words to the ears of the living God. Then himself, he will also reply. That reply, that response is, he will say something to your spiritual ears. And when he says something to your spiritual ears, be able to write it down. Because that is the answer of your prayers. That is the answer of your prayers. And every time when now spouses are corresponding, they must give an idea of what they are thinking about. And that is now our Lord Jesus Christ. He does not want you to live just without any communication, without knowing how you should handle your issues, on how to tackle the things in this world of confusion. He will give you instructions. He will give you instructions. So be ready to follow them. That is how God speaks to the church. There are many concerns is to have lights in their lamps. Christians are children of the light. The gospel is light. Those who receive it should be enlightened by it. When you receive Jesus Christ to be Lord and Savior, then meaning inside of your life there was a lot of darkness. Light appears, not on the outside, because the inside light will enlighten the outside part of your life. So the inside part of your life, just look with me. Let's go to Philippians now. Philippians is immediately after Ephesians. Then verse num uh, chapter number 2, verse number 15. That you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without a blemish, in the midst of a crooked and a perverse generation, among whom you shine as lies in the world. Holding fast the word of life. Hallelujah. Go to John 14 and you connect this. Holding fast the word of life. So that in the day of Christ, I may be poor and proud that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. Holding fast. And the answer is those are the words in which should encourage you as a child of God. Knowing one, two, three, what you are supposed to do, what you are supposed to embrace in life, if you want to walk right with the living God. I want you to observe this. There are different characters, the foolish and the wise. There was a different character with the, with the, the proof and the evidence of them, which is their character was that five were wise, others were foolish. Both of them. Characteristics. Then let's Angalia Kitabu Jamubiri. I'm taking you back to Luke chapter 5, verse 12. 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 Them, those who are struggling to open. Chapter 2, verse 13. Then I saw that the wisdom exhales fully as light exhales darkness. <laughs> are you seeing that? Five, five. So there is something that was common with them. And the things which made them to be so common was. They all slept and they all slumbered. But here we are talking about sincere Christians are the wise virgins and the hypocrites because they are there. They are the foolish ones. True religion is true wisdom. But here, so sin is a folly. Sin is a foolishness. And especially the sin of hypocrisy, which is now in the church. Sin of hypocrisy. 
For those are the greatest fools. Because once you call somebody a fool, they come on memonyonga. But now we are talking about an hypocrite whereby the Lord calls him a fool. There is a lesson here to learn. And I want you to listen to this. The foolish took their lambs and took no oil with them. They took their lambs and they had no oil. Oil to burn on the present to make a show with. Let me post a little bit there. When we are talking about taking your lambs without oil, we are talking about now I am saved. But I want the people to know and to see me. I'm saved. And I'm walking in the pride of salvation. But inside of me, I have no roots. I have nothing. I'm not grounded on the word of the Lord. And that is where the confusion is. People are looking into the mass uh, congregation whereby I can hide myself there. Hiding yourself in that big congregation does not mean that you are getting anywhere. Hide yourself in the kingdom of the living God and you shall never be ashamed. Oil to burn, I'm talking about getting that word, getting so much rooted in your life with that word, and knowing your rights as a child of God, that even in hard times, the same word will minister to you. When your friends will not be near you, the same word will bring comfort in your life. Are we together? Sometimes you can ring my, my phone and I can be a muteja wa nambari unaupiga hapati kan. If I can get a bishop along with me, I want you to be for sure built in your life that even when you are there, Unasema, there is a word I heard bishop preaching. And the word is inside of me. Where? The truth that you know will set you free. The, which is the truth I know? Ask yourself, do I know any truth? Which can set me free. Do I know anything that I can remind my shovel of? Hallelujah. When there is nobody who can appear in my life, do I have any word who can console me? Hallelujah. Do I have anything I can open the Bible? Don't be a foolish Bible study leader. <laughs> this is the, day, the word of the day. You are getting confused. Even when you are reading, you don't know exactly what you are reading about. Pray first. Start the word of God. And I've told you here how to read the word of God and how to study. From beginners, you cannot start from Genesis. From beginners, you only start with the New Testament, the life of Jesus Christ. And for that matter, go to the book of John, beginners. And when you are reading, get a chapter. Read it through. Every verse, every verse. After you have done that, get a book and a paper. Go on back to the same chapter. Am I communicating? Read verse by verse, quietly, asking God what he means with the word. That is the way you are going to study the word of God. That is the way you are going to give the Holy Spirit of the living God time to interpret this word for you. Because you don't know the word unless you get the interpretation through the Holy Spirit. That's why it is very hard for politicians to read the word. That is very hard for even non-believers to read the word. What a soma wakipita wakicheka cheka. But a Bible 
study reader. We will read the word, study it verse by verse, digest it now, being led by the Holy Spirit of the living God, giving you how to digest and how to get the real material out of it. Usiwa na beba mbibilia ekuwe kama uju. Are we together? Ubebe, ma, ubebe mbunduki na unashika pahalo na wesa kui kujibika mizuri. Kwa na yesu wapaya sifa. Misha wa hiku wana askari ya kimeka mistake ya akibeba. Wengini wanasema mistakenly he shot himself. Kwa sababu ya meichukua na pengine akajedunga bila kujua. Haiba wa kristo mbila kujua neno na vile njia ya kuisoma kwa nejitunga nae. You can hear even preachers on the television preaching. Unaona mtu wakijika nyanga na bibilia na ajitunga nae. Pia, pia. Na watu wanasema, hallelujah. Nasikia kupita na hiyo TV ni mwage chini. Ha? Eh? Maniyesu wapoe sifu. Ayo vile masai moja alifanya. Masai alingojia akasikia radio ikiongea. Na masai akasikia ni kama anaongelewa. Na radio ni yake. Alichukua radio akasema, "Radio unanitukana." Eh? Radio nafaa nini? Akapigisha chini akavunja. Kwa sababu radio inamtuka. So if you don't know how to use the word of God. You shall turn the word against your life. For heaven's sake. Bwana Yesu apoe sifa. But then we have to teach ourselves on how to use it. I'm talking about now. Uh, they have no principle within themselves. That is now the foolish people. They have a lamp of provision in their hands. That they have confessed Jesus Christ to be Lord and Savior. But they don't have that stock of sound doctrine. They don't have it. They don't have the stock of sound doctrine. They are not rooted. They are not established in their faith. Necessarily to carry them through the services and trials of the present state. When you look at the Colossians, Colossians is in the New Testament. And then... Uh, it is exactly after Philippians. Colossians 2, then verse number 6. As therefore you receive Christ, I'm there. As you have received Christ, the Lord, so live in him. Rooted, what does number five, 7 say? Rooted and built up in him. And established in the faith, just as we are taught, and bowing in thanksgiving. Bwana Yesu apoya sifa. Sin to it that no one makes a prey of you by prophet, uh, by a philosophy, and an empty deceit, according to human tradition, according to elemental spirits of the universe, and not according to Christ. Without knowing the word by yourself. And without being taught the true doctrine. Okay, sikia watu wana ubiri wa pala, utakuwa nasema, huyo mubiri anajua. Alamu unasumama pala, nasema, yuli ako nai shida, anakuita kanjina. Nasema, huyo anajua shida zangu. Wani yesu apoya sifu. You must be very careful. Read the word of God. Let the Holy Spirit of God himself interpret it for you. And you shall have no problem. You shall have no. They took lambs for the present show. But they could not stand when trials come. Sio wengi wakati wa shida zinakuja, utakuta nayo mwambie bwana asifiwe waseme amen. Lakini mtu ambaye amelishwa neno na kasimama. Bwana Yesu apoya sifa. Hata tukikutana kama hatembei, ananiambia mbisho najua Yesu yuko. Because salvation is not for now. 
Salvation is for now and the future. Till the Lord Jesus Christ appears. You are now less that when I come, will I find the same faith that I left? Will I, will I find it? Will I find that same faith that you had when you said Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior? It's a good the salvation is not about miracles. When you are there, look for that miracle worker that you may possess him. My answer is the miracle worker is my life in my life. But when you are now looking for miracles, oh takuta na na wengi. Miracle servers are there. Now I tanga servers. Now hostesses. Because they can fly you over. But I want to be acquitted to the miracle worker. I want to befriend my miracle worker. That when I need him, any time I can communicate with him. Jesus, I need you now. And you'll be very present. Psalms 46, 1. The very present help at the time of need. The very present help at the time of need. You call him and you will not say, conjection. Uh, look like God has given us an example of the aunties. And they prepare themselves. Look at the Proverbs 6. Now you have uh, you are, and mutual a kwangi na captain while and governor. They are all equal. But you shall find them very busy. When gin wana peleka chakula, when gin wana rutia. They are making stock for during the famine time. Bakata muna sunguka uko na kula mukisema kenya ina chakula, mucho haili. Are you there? Proverbs 6 6. Go to the aunt. O slangard, consider her ways and be wise. Without having any chief officer or ruler, she prepares her food in the summer and gathers her substances in harvest. Without a chief or captain, they know how to prepare. During the time of famine, again, see to Nangojia, Kama, Kenya, to Nasema, economy men and buy. That's why the politicians are making fun of us. Bottom up, Nani Alepeleka, bottom. You have to be up. And we are there singing the same song. We need to open up our eyes and sing a song which can bring glory to the kingdom of God. Prepare for the hard times. Prepare for the harsh times. That you may sing the same song. Anaweza, anaweza, anaweza mwana wa mungu, aleluya. Anaweza mwana wa mungu. Yeah. Hata wakati wa kiangazi kwa kiangazi hata wakati kwa plenty anaweza so we serve a mighty and a everlasting father that's why we should know exactly what to do go to first timothy go to first timothy 6 And then verse 19. That's laying out for themselves a good foundation for the future. So that they may take a hold of the life which is life indeed. Makito meshika pale. Oh, Timothy, God, what has been entrusted to you. And avoid the godless chatter. And the contradictions of what is falsely 
called in knowledge. Avoid. Wachana na zile vitu ambazo. Zitaleta ulemavu dani ya maisha yako ya ukristo. Bana yesu wa poesifu. And then you shall be able to walk right. The wise virgins, they took their oil. In their vessel, uh, with, with their vessels, with their lambs. Then when you are talking about taking oil, we are talking about your situation of your heart. The heart is a vessel which is our wisdom to get it furnished. The heart. And that's why the writer of, Psalm, of Proverbs 4.23 are we there? Guide your heart with all diligence because I am talking to people who are sleeping. Have you stand up? Amuka. Why your kid? Stretch yourself. Stretch yourself. Come on, meva kabuti na nasiya kama kulemi atoa kunanjua. Tumetoka kwa vitanda alafu nakuja kulala kwa kanisa. Won't be wished you. Itaweka <laughs> kama Paul akiongea na Galatians. Bwana Yesu hapo asifa. Hai nuliwe bwana. Hai nuliwe bwana. Unasikia unaimba kama mulevi? Hai nuliwe bwana. Hai nuliwe bwana. Yesu mwenye uwezo, ai nuliwe bwana. Nani anainua? Nimesema kama wamevaa jacket toa. Anaongea Kiswahili hata sijaongea Kiingereza. Hai nuliwe bwana, ai nuliwe bwana. Yesu mwenye uwezo, ai nuliwe bwana. Atukuze bwana atukuze bwana Yesu mwenye uwezo atukuze bwana Hey Hai nuliwe bwana hai nuliwe bwana Yesu mwenye uwezo hai nuliwe bwana <laughs> the wise vanches now they took oil in their vessels with their lambs. Hallelujah. And then I say the heart is the vessel which is our wisdom to get it furnished. Good treasure and the good things come from the heart. Good treasure and the good things they come from the heart. Bwana Yesu hapo asifa. How do I know this? Ungekutana na mulevi. Ungetaka kujua ni nini kiko ndani yake. Bwana Yesu hapo asifa. Akiwa mulevi atajiongea. Ukitasikia atakia mbia bibi yake na wamekaa for all these years. Anamwambia wewe hunijui. Eh wewe hunijui. Bwana Yesu hapo asifa. Si huyo mtu wa nje ni ndani wake hajui. Ndani yake hapa nini? Hamujui. Because when that person the inner person shall come out. Atakuwa ni wazimu. So I'm talking about the issues of life. That's why the writer of Proverbs 4:23 God your heart with all diligence for the issues of life, they come from your heart. Those are now the vessel. Hata ukilala, ukiamusha usiku. Bana Yesu wapo ya The oil we are talking about is sound doctrine. Ambao hata ukinguzwa usiku. Ukiamuka, utazema mamao, utazema Yesu. 
Wale ambao wamezoea kukutana na mama hakutakuwa na mama pale. Mama hata yeye ako na shida. Unahitaji nani? Yes. Na kile kiko ndani yako ndio tatamuka saa hiyo. Panyoso hapo sifa. We need to be really equipped that in the time of need you shall know the right word to apply and when to apply. Panyoso hapo sifa. Ah, yeah, I think we are going well. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So inside of your life just go together with me in the book of uh, First Corinthians. Your body does not belong to you. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. That is First Corinthians 6 verse 19. Verse 19 there. Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit within you? Which you have from God? You are not your own. You are not your own. The moment you confess Jesus Christ to be Lord and Savior, He possesses you. He owns you. He owns you. Kwa hivyo wakati unapo chesu nasema maisha yangu ni yangu, siyo yako. Wana kumbusha mkristo wakiongea. Uh, Kiale sili unamuambia. Be sure one day you shall be answerable to the words you are speaking now. Siku moja utanjibu yote ambao nao ongea. Kwa zahamu dani yako kuna yuli aliingia na kawa mwenyewe wa hiyo nyumba. Bani yesu wapoe sifa. So when you look at the Exodus, I'm taking you back to Exodus now. Exodus chapter number 35. Exodus is the second book. 35 verse 14. The lamb stand also for the light with his utensils and his lambs and the oil of the light. When you are talking about the oil, and the lamb stand, you are talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. And the out of the incense, then number 15, with the poles and the anointing oil, the frankland incense, and the screen for the door at the door of the tabernacle. So we must know exactly where to get that kind of oil that is the anointing, that is the light of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our light must shine before many in good works, but this cannot be, or not long, unless there be a fixed active principle and a discipline in your heart of faith in Christ Jesus. Unless there is that faithfulness, with you and the God, for sure, out of ways. They took oil that perhaps the bridegroom might tarry, but yes, but, when I'm talking about they took their oil and they slept, they all slumbered and slept. Talking about Akina Paul, all those disciples, they were talking, he is coming quickly. As we are talking about Jesus Christ is coming in time. And their time came, and they exceeded. But still, our Lord Jesus Christ will come. The time nobody knows. But as long as it tarries, our problem is how we prepare and wait for our bridegroom. Whether he will come and meet you just the way you are, or whether you will have slept a long time ago. The problem is not you are sleeping. Because I have a kilala, Utamusha. Akusaidie utoke kwa hiyo njangwa. Lakini usujua kisema atinaepuka maisha. Una... There is this man. 
ambao kwa wokovu alikuwa na yumba yumba nataka kusikia sasa naye akaoleza bwana mwana wetu ni mwaminifu kaoleza bwana mimi nashindwa na wokovu na kaa ikaambia bwana kuja nitembee na katembezwa bwana yesu akapewa sifa akapelekwa kusimu akaonyeshwa kusimu ndio hii wakati alienda kusimu alikuta marafiki wakiwa na suti wana enjoy wanakula wanakunywa akasema kumbe na akaona shetani hana mkia na ala hana pembe akasema kumbe huyo mjamaa na wekele yangu tu huyo ni mungwana bwana yesu apoe sifa kumbe shetani ni very smart na kumbe watu huko wanakula choma wanakula wanashiba na wanavaa suti akaambiwa okay umeona hell vile iko eh akaambiwa okay kuja mbinguni akaenda mbinguni akakuta watu wanaimba pale malaika wana float huko kule ni nyimbo na sifa na kunaonekana kumekaa vizuri sana bwana Yesu apewa sifa akaona huko the gold the streets are gold akasema lakini huko kuna mbo nyimbo tu haleluya amen o sana haleluya na kila pahali anapita bwana Yesu apewa sifa anakuta masoya in the army of the lord akasema lakini hapa hakuna muvinyu akaambiwa sasa fanya uamuzi unataka hapa ama kule akasema naenda huko chini nikuta marafiki wangu wakiwa na suti wanakula nyama chom wanakula kapo vinyu wakati aliingia yakuta shetani sasa mekia mechomoka akamuuliza ah ah i was here before and then i left the things were okay akamwambia we were doing campaign ya kambeni Now this is now the reality. Na Yesu apae sifa. Wakati hatuna kambeni tunakaanga hivi. Sasa hapa ni moto throughout. We are the ones who never be quenched. So during campaign times there is a lot of lies. When the devil is doing a lot of campaign He will give you whatever for sure and you naona illuminate they don't waste time. Ni nini nasumbua wewe pesa? Una nini nasumbua wewe ngali? Ni nini nasumbua wewe manyumba? Ni nini? I have it. Then after kupata unaambiwa it's not just free like that. There are conditions. Piana hii piana hii unasema hapana siku itisha but unaingia. I better suffer in the Lord Jesus Christ where there are no conditions and I am blessed by the Lord Jesus Christ and when I call upon the name of the Lord he hears and blesses me and he is now near me I don't want to go to hell during campaign time nataka kukaa ndani ya Yesu sita kuangalia that's why I'm saying live there inadanganya watu sana bwana Yesu apoe sifa the great and the good olive oil and then zakaria zakaria 2 zakaria 4 nauliza kwa wapi zakaria ndio anafuata kitabu cha mwisho malaka nikusaidie chapter 4 Then verse number two, and he said to me, "What do you see?" I said, "I see, and behold, a lamb stamp all of, of gold, with a bowl of the top of it, and the seven lambs on it, with the seven leaves, uh, leaves on each of the lambs, which are on the top of it." Mm -hmm. Verse three, and there are two olive trees by it, one on the right. Of the bowl and the other on the east uh, left. Verse number 12, the same chapter. And the second time I said to him, What are these two branches of the oil, uh, olive trees, which are beside the two golden pipes from which the oil is poured out? Are you seeing the olive tree? The only olive tree which can give oil without drying. Is the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's why I'm saying get yourself connected to the source. Connect yourself to the provision and you shall never be ashamed of being called a child of God. 
During the apostle time, that is now the time walikuwa nauliza atakuwa na mna gani. Sasa hapa tunahamini buwana yesu apoe sifa. Like Peter, he was so, alikuwa kabisa anauliza na sisi tumekuamini. Na mina jua tumekuamini kusema ukweni. Na tumeacha manyumba, na tumeacha. Wengine tama sisi ya tunjaowa. Buwana yesu apoe sifa. Tunabo kufuata we buwana yesu. Tutapata nini mbaadai. And you are when you want to say, Oh, Christian, you jinga. Rather than you jinga, why yes, and if I did get bad, I and a Matthew 19 27. Then Peter said in a reply, Lo, we have led everything and have followed you. What then shall we have? Jesus said to him, to them, Truly, I said to you, in the new world, when the Son of Man shall sit on his glorious throne. You who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Does your Bible say that? And everyone who has left the houses of brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or land, for my name's sake, will receive a hundredfold and inherit eternal life. The last portion is now the very sweet part. And he inherit Eternal life. Meaning you are not a loser anywhere. And I know for sure God will continue blessing you and me. Why the delay? We have the questions. Why? I have got a point here I want to give you. The point is, the let must all be called in. Kwa nini Yesu mwenyewe amekawia? Ni kwa sababu wale wanakusudiwa kuokoka mpaka wote waokoke. The let must all be called in. Another one, God's patience must be manifested. Utulivu wa Bwana udhihirike. If that one is the right Kiswahili. And another point is since patience tried, believers, let me use that word. Believers' patience to be tried. Utulivu wa kila muaminiyo ujaribiwe. In a point very easy, we are talking about a shendra, a bedne, a konde, mesha kethea. Ukeingia pale, tutaona kama utasimama. So our patience, our love for Jesus Christ will be tried. That's why the delay. Another point is the harvest of the earth must be repent. And so must the harvest of heaven too. Mavuno ya ukonduniani, watu wa okoke. Diyo mbingo iweze kanjia so na wateule. Kuna kambayi ni naendelea. Wateule waubiria wa wenye dhambi wa okoke. We are delaying the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Why? Because there are so many sinners there. They are perishing. And that is not God's desire. He wants sinners to be saved. That heaven may be full of life. But he also apoya sifa. Kwa hivyo kile kipawa ile ngarama kwa na mwenye wa mekupatia. Ifanyishe kazi. You know, there is this. When Nathaniel saw Jesus Christ coming, he said, the Lamb of God, surely. Na makati alitambua ni Yesu Christo, yeye alienda kuambia ndugu yake Peter. Akumambia ni mekutana na Yesu. What does that one teach you? You must preach the gospel to your family. Na wakati aliambia Simon Peter, Simon Peter aliamini na kakimbiria Yesu. Na Simon Peter kuipika bale, bwana mwenye wakamambia, you are Simon, and from this time you are a stone. I will build my church on you, Peter, and the gates of hell shall never prevail. We are hindering the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ kwa sababu kwa nyumba zetu. Kuna wale ya wanja okoka. 
Tuanza kuhubiria wale wako nyumba zetu. Na Bwana mwenyewe aonekane. Those four points chosen and delay the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Nitaka wabisa this. There's lambard and slept Bwana Yesu apesi. And then here God is warning us of the symptoms. Hata wakati unasikia kulala, wakati mwingine uh, uh, ukienda kwa kitanda unaanza kuangalia wasabu unasikia eh uh, wasabu uh, ukicheza simu unaikuta chini. Hiyo na kuonyesha wachana na wasabu weka simu lala. So even when you are reading the word of God, wakati mwingine ukifungua ufungua usome utaangalia line moja ya pili ukuto na ngorota. You know why? The devil does not want you to know this word. He will use all the tactics za kuzuilia neno la Bwana. Bwana Yesu apasipe. Nikiuliza wewe asubuhi nani amesoma chapter moja ya Biblia leo? Na be sincere with you and the God. Kama umesoma inua mkono. <laughs> Unaona? This is what atoka kanisa. Yataka uniambie ni wangapi? Saisha tena nuche, anatuchezea tu. Atunasema haleluya amen. Haleluya amen. Anajua tumekula mikate, tumekunywa chai, umetandika tumbo limenjaa, lakini ndani haukuweka kitu. Hauna stoko ya ndani ya moyo. Lakini watumbo iko imenjaa. Sai nani anjakula kama unjafunga? Sai mkate, chai, hata kidheri au ugali iko. Kuna wale wanaamuka kabisa wanapika ugali asubuhi acha mchezo. Wanaitandika kabisa. Lakini wakiingia kuneno la Bwana, ah, wanaanza kulala. Angalia the symptoms. Usikatoke kwa kitanda yako bila kusoma weka Biblia yako kando ya kitanda. Biblia weka hapo. Ambia Bwana niwezeshe kabla sinjakanyanga chini nisome chapter moja. Niongee na wewe kwa sababu unaongea na Mungu upitia kwa neno. Naona kanyanga chini ukikutana na mambo wanasema nilikanyanga unaanza kufanya mtiani. Nilifanyanga chini na Mungu. Wacha na miguu. Nani alikanyanga si ni wewe? Pray, look for the symptoms. Why don't you have the desire and the zeal of reading the word of God? Why do you find it so hard? Kusoma neno la Bwana. Kama unjaikula, itakuwa ni upendo sana hata kutukana mtu. Kwa sababu kwa mdomo umejaa ugali. So what you have is what you are going to throw out. What you have is and you know our Christ anaongea anyhow. Hata wachungaji wanasema nimeonyeshwa, niambie umekula nyama choma na ukalala na unjaomba. Umeonyeshwa nyama zikichomwa. Ama ulikuta watu wamelewa. And that is where the confusion is. When you go to first Kings chapter number 13, you shall find an old prophet Combined with the new prophet. Ambao the new prophet alikuwa muyanga alitumwa. Aende aka kanya kanisa. Na kakuta mfalo miata na anza kuchoma insons. Kambia that is not your duty. And then mfalo miata muambia wa. And because that son was anointed. Mukono ele kaoka hivyo pia. And he pleaded with him. Ebu ni ambio ya mungu wako. Mukono yangu erudi. I want you to hear the old prophet wale ambao wanacheza na neno akasikia kuna mwingine mpya amekuja Nakaoleza Mungu akaambia Mungu aliniambia nisipitie ile njia nilikuja naye akaniambia nisikunywe maji na mkate Bwana Yesu apoe sifa sile zingine usiongee Akamwambia hata mimi ni prophet Tukula chai tukula mkate wakati aliweka kwa mdomo hivi kwa sababu alikuwa anajua vile Mungu aongea 
namwambia sasa wewe wamejoin ni klabu yangu akufika alikuliwa njiani na akachukua kamshika akasema na mimi nikikufa nizikwe kwa yule anajuana na Mungu huyu pengine nikivuvuka atanisamea we have so many false prophets all the ones wale wamezoea neno la Bwana lakini na kuonya wewe usikasoe Mungu usikasoe neno la Bwana every day have a thirsty and a hunger for the word of God and by that you shall grow Bwana Yesu apoesifu Ngalia the military at midnight there was a cry ameonekana amekuja Beyond the bridegroom has come. He comes at the midnight. At our cart kijana wa fero alikufa midnight. Wakati wanalala. Egypt yote lilia. And I'm talking about though Christ tarries long, he will come at last. Though he tarries, he will surely come. Though he seems slow he is very sure of what he says. Ngalia vile hapa kuko aliongea. Amba kuko ako hapo mbele ya Naomi. Niambie hiyo ni gani tena? When the verse number 17. Though the fig tree do not blossom No fruit be on the vines. The produce of the olive oil fell, and the fields yield no food. The flock cut off, be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord, and I will joy in the God of my salvation. Ata kama kuna kitu kinatokelezea. But itashikilia wokovu wangu. Huyo ni mtu ambao ameimarika katika wokovu. Bwana Yesu apoe sifa. Usilale I'm almost there. I'm almost now clocking in. Tutaangalia malisie ni tanjambu singine kwa sababu naona wengine wameanza ku Bwana Yesu apoe sifa. When you look at the every eye shall be shall see him. Wakati Yesu Kristo kila macho itamuona. Bwana Yesu apoe sifa. And there will be a cry from heaven. Kutakuwa na kilio kutoka mbinguni. He shall descend with a shout. And you naona hatarudi. Hatarudi na mawimbe hatarudi. Wewe muimbaji hatarudi. Wale ambao watakuwa hai wakiwa wata, wataole wataimba hiyo wimbo wale ambao watakuwa kwa mchanga hawa kwanza ndi watavuvuka na waanze wimbo wale wako chini kwanza ndi watavuata wale walitangulia na neno la bwana ni kweli bwana yesu hapo sifa just look with me i want you to give you the facts revelation 6:16 i'm almost through give me some few minutes Calling to the mountains itakuwa hii ndio kilio calling to the mountains and rocks for honors and hide us from the face of him who is seated on the throne and from the wrath of the lamb for the great day of the law of the lord has come and who can stand before it Bwana Yesu apoe sifa wacha saa hii watu wanaongopa kifo wakati utafika ukimbia kwa mlima mtu wangu Waambie mlima nimekupatia kimbali niangukie. Mlima kuambia sina ruhusa. Uchukue kisu. Ukitaka kuje kale waambie we nimekanywa sitakukata. Soma hapo. That time is coming. And the word of God does not lie. It will surely come to pass. Bwana Yesu apoe sifa. So we must fear God and live for him. The your rose and trim to waliamka. Wote waliamuka. Wenye mafuta bila mafuta waliamuka. Lakini ajabu ni kwamba wale ambao wakuwa na neno mbaya naweza kuwasimamisha walianza kuyumba yumba. Bwana Yesu apoe sifa. 
When you look at it, you shall see this. Mutu anaitua, vitu ambazo tunashikilia, azita kuokua wakati wa shida. Absolomon, mtoto wake David, he had a very smart horse, wakati alikuwa nakimbisha baba yake. Lakana hiyo horse ya hiku mwokua. Kaza hapu ili muanika juu ya miti. Naika muacha hapu. Na he died hanging. The things we trust so much. When we leave this world, we shall leave them hanging. Nikuna mtu amesikia hiyo. Hakuna hata matajiri. Kuna wana tita mutaya jina da... Tajiri mkubwa sana alikuwa Kenya. Lagini wakati ukabula nja kufa aliokoka. Two weeks before. Nakasema nge okoka mapema. Hata hile pesa nikonazo nge invest in the work of the Lord. Nge fanyia buwana na pesa zangu. Sasa ni miyaje suporo na watu wanza kuwana wakifanya one, two, three. Because now he confessed why he was still on the bed. Nakasema nge lijua wakobu kwa hivi because after he confessed Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, he had a lot of peace in him. He said, I wish I got saved earlier than this. Now, when we are born, we are born, we wish, and we are born, and we are born, and we are born, so I, when we are born, and 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 we are born, Lepu naweka kwa sukuma kana testi vizuri. Nige kuwa na pesa, nige kula nyama kila siku. Na walio na pesa, wanasema ata nyama hawataki wanazitoroka. Wana lilia ugonjwa, wanataa kuchomoka. Tajiri moja, alienda hapa town. Hakaona wanajua watu wetu anjadho wa membarikiwa kabisa, wakikula samaki ya wachezangi. Hakaona ameketi kwa kona vizuri na kaitisha ugali na kaletuwe samaki. Haka ikula vizuri mpaka anakula vidole. Na hoyo mungjama hapa nangangana na kakitu kadogo tu. Haka enda karipa kamuleza. Minaono nakula vizuri. Nikinunua ingine. Kasawa ingine. Ea lete. Nikinunua ingine utakula. Kasawa ee. Hei waita waita waita. Hei patia hoyo samaki hile kubwa na ugali. Anaume ya kakaa hivi. Na katua koti sasa kwa zaawu ni business ya iti. Na kakula na kasimama na kakanda na muambia asandi sana. Na mungjamaa kakati ya kasema. Did I destroy my life before time? Because nilikula yangu yote ni kamalisa mapema. I can just enjoy seeing people eating. But myself I cannot be able to eat. Na wewe bwana mwenyewe amekupatia wakati anakupatia afya njema hata wakati mwingine kukosa ni baraka. Kwa sababu ungekuwa nazo mingi tu ungekuona akasema salimia wapendwa kwa hewa. Tuko nao pamoja, hatuko na wewe. Kama ni roho kwa hewa si wewe, wewe ni pepo. What do you want is you not not your roho. So sometimes when we pray God delays the, the answer for a purpose. Either because he does not want to lose you. And he does not want to lose your fellowship with the other brethren. Look at it positively to see God's love. And you shall love him more than ever. Because of time, ajani yombe buwana mwenye watatupatia wakati mwingine. But I just want to Ekimbeni enda kwa resource Bwana Yesu apoe sifa Ia ni ojumba nileipenda Na kasikia kabisa Nimebarikiwa mi mwenyewe Kabla zinja itoa Nikuwa na angalia na cheka peke yangu Na soma inaingia Na simama na ambia Bwana nime kushukuru Bwana Yesu apoe sifa Ni kwa sababu you are reminding me Of the duties I'm supposed to At least to do when I am here. And he has reminded me. Bwana Yesu apasifa. 
Ana ninapoingia kwa kanisa hapa nikiwa peke yangu naambia bwana I, I love here being me and you Mimi na wewe Nikiingia hapa naambia bwana mimi na wewe Bwana tuongee Mimi na wewe bwana tusikizane And I feel God's presence And I feel this is the place I want to be this is my mountain Ana nikumbusha wakati Yesu mwenyewe akimaliza kuhudumu na akienda naambia wanafunzi nyinyi endeni mimi naenda mlimani kwanza ndio tukutane baadaye you ever if you don't miss being in God's presence there is something amiss in your life you should miss the fellowship with your God ile ambao uko peke yako na Mungu unaketi unamwambia ni mimi ni kuapa Bwana Mayaso apo sifa. Alafu ndio unasikia Mungu akikwambia na mimi nimekuja we fellowship together. Mayaso apo sifa. It's so good. Point number ya mwisho pale I'm talking about the results now. Believers should know the word of God and what it means in their lives. Believers should know the word of God and what it means in their lives i can pray can i can jump i can do any other thing but if i'm not driving a point into your life we can change you i'm doing nothing point number 2 now people are talking about bad economy which is it a lack of hunger <laughs> mark this There shall be famine of the word of God. Famine not of economy. Not the common not the, this kind of hunger commodity, but the famine of the word of God. And I'm encouraging each and every one of us that when that famine comes, you and me we shall not face that kind of uh, uh, Famine. Can you go with me in the book of Amos? Amos is just after Joel. Nakufunza Biblia pole pole tu. Amos 8 and then verse number 11. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord God. When I will send a famine on the land. Nani atatuma? Mungu mwenyewe. I will send a famine on the land. Not a famine of bread. What hivyo tunalia mkate. No a thirst of water. Ah ah. But I'm hearing the word of the Lord. Atatuma njaa. Na sio ya chakula, sio ya mkate, sio ya maji. Atatuma njaa la kusikia neno la Bwana. Na hapo wakati huo they shall wonder watakimbia uko na kule from sea to sea from north to east they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord but they shall not find it Na hata yona Basi hao wakati huo tunapohubiri wengine wanaona kama we are wasting time Na Yesu hapo asifa wana shughuli wanaona kama we are coming to church wanaona we are wasting a lot of time we are wasting a lot of energy we could have been given time to do one two three wengine wanakuja wanalala wanayaswa pesa but it's better you sleep in the house of the lord than outside there 